Hello there, Agent here again, coming to you from the sub underground bunker. It has been a while since I posted a new video. I have been doing a lot of research and gathering clips and gathering my wits so as to produce this thing. This is probably my last video on Scientology. I've made my points about their bogus technology and thanks to Anonymous, Scientology is now the laughing stock of the internet. It is now a derogatory label to call someone a Scientologist. That's an epic win for all of the Anons out there. I believe that I have been able to diagram, dissect, and discover the mechanics of Dianetic Auditing and how the practice and procedure of auditing produces results like this. Because you're a squirrel and you're stuck on your trap. But you're you're stimulated as hell. Why don't you go do a locational on yourself? Why don't I do that? Yeah, why don't you? And kind of destimulate from your incident. So why do Scientologists feel why the need do you to destimulate from people? your incident? Why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking David Miscavige? I'm not why are you? I'm telling oh. the truth. Oh yeah, you're not attacking. You're telling the truth. Oh, boy, what crimes right? have you committed? You drugs? You're dr dealing drugs? You a drug dealer? What crimes have you committed? These fellows demonstrate the influence that auditing has on otherwise sentient Homo sapiens. One can bandy about the term mind control in an offhand way, but mind control can and does exist within the boundaries of Neuro Linguistic Programming, NLP, a language-based hypnotic induction technique, and the visual imagery type of hypnotic trance induction. I would now like to demonstrate how a Dianetic Auditing Session utilizes both of these techniques plus some of Hubbard's discoveries in the practice of creating slaves of the mind. So, here is an auditing session. Here's the auditor and the e-meter and the pre-clear. Pre-clear. What an interesting word. One not yet clear. Ah, clear. One of the most sacred terms in Scientology. Become clear. Be clear. Clear your reactive mind. Clear all your misunderstoods. Clear, as in emptying your mind of all other concepts having to do with actual reality. Clear is one of the most powerful trigger words in this type of NLP. I'll put these keywords up on the board here as it seemed necessary. So we've got these two individuals here. Indoctrinated to the highest degree in the Org's Academy. Both of these guys know what to expect, know what is expected of them, and know what the expected outcome of this session is supposed to produce. Through rigorous, intense, and very subtle indoctrination techniques, they call it training. The NLP is thoroughly implanted through reading, studying, tape lectures, and mandatory demonstrations of your understanding of the tech. These two fuckers are dedicated and in a constant light hypnotic trance. So to start the session they do a little warm-up exercise called rudiments, commonly known as flying rudes. With the pre-clear on the cans, the auditor asks, Are you hungry? Are you cold? Did your dog pee on the rug? Such small talk to put you in the mood, so to speak. Then the auditor says, if all goes well, your needle is floating.
and this is a session. How about that? Two NLP trigger phrases in a row. These phrases elicit a feeling of calmness and well-being and confidence in that the pre-clear is ready to go where no pre-clear has gone before. All right, let's uh, jump right into the middle of a session here. Routine three, revision A, R3RA, is spelled out right here in my course pack. Yes, I'm an excitologist, and I've been trained as a new era Dianetic Auditor. This is the actual shit, the real dope, as L. Ronnie would say. All Scientologists are indoctrinated in this process and must demonstrate their flawless execution of these routines. These are all trigger words that you've been indoctrinated with in training. Training is even a trigger word. All right, the first command the auditor gives. Close your eyes. So the PC closes his eyes. This right here is the beginning of the visual imagery portion of the hypnotic induction that creates a Scientologist. Next command, recall a time when you blah dee blah dee blah dee blah. The response to this is some horrible, unthinkable, degrading event that happened to the preclair sometime in the past. Any time, any past, any planet that he can imagine, based on his training. And listening to Elrond's bad sci-fi stories. Remember, the victims of, I mean, pre-clear's eyes remain closed all this time, meeting the first condition for visual image hypnotic induction. The eyes are closed. Next command. Move to the beginning of the incident and tell me when you're there. We've got an incident here. Start, finish. And the next command is move through to the end of that incident. Preclear says, okay. The next command the auditor gives is tell me what happened. The preclear says, blah, blah, blah. Then they took my severed penis and put it on a stick. That sort of morbid shit. Now here comes the clincher. This is the essence of Scientology mind control. The auditor gives the command, is there an earlier beginning to this incident? If the preclear can't come up with an earlier beginning, he is then grilled by the auditor over and over and over using the same commands repeated until a new piece of this false memory suddenly shows up. This puts the preclear into a state of desperation. Straining to imagine more and more of the story that he unknowingly makes up as he goes along. He wants to please his auditor and to hear the wonderful magical words, your needle is floating. Now this diminishing spiral of introversion continues throughout the session. 
earlier incident after earlier incident after earlier incident is dredged up over and over and over until the preacher can freely mock up just about any kind of insane story, a false memory about the past, including supposed past lives. This appears to cause some sort of overload or short circuit of the short term memory that creates a feeling of euphoria and completeness. He's blowing. Then after repeating this process over and over, some sort of orgasmic mental release occurs. And the auditor declares, your needle is floating. So after a couple of hours of this, a person becomes very malleable and agreeable to just about anything presented to them. Auditing is quite addictive. By the end of a session, one acquires that silly Scientology laugh and giggle indicative of the village psycho. All I have to say is Tom Cruise. <laughs> There's nothing part of the way for me. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> so what does the e-meter have to do with all this? It monitors the well-known idiomotor effect explained fully by James Randi when he's describing dowsers and Ouija board responses. The me meter indicates, through a total lack of involuntary muscle movement, a nullifying of the idiomotor effect that the preclear is utterly and totally under a hypnotically induced trance. If the preclear can demonstrate this at will on the e-meter, he is considered clear. In simple words, a good Scientologist is walking around in a continuous, voluntary, hypnotized state. Individuals are enslaved by design to be obedient subjects of source and the tech that created their slavery. These are important NLP trigger words. Good job, L. Ron. You created a way to produce hordes of adoring fans of your sci-fi rantings and take them for every last cent, cheerfully and voluntarily donated. So the session has ended when the preclear finally gets his brain orgasm. Whee! and is sitting there laughing like the institutionally insane when he hears the words, your needle is floating. So why do, why do Scientologists always resort to... Even stage hypnotists have the decency to command their subjects to wake up, open their eyes, and return to their normal state. No, I repeat, no such command is given in an auditing session. The preclear is never told to open their eyes or ever wake up from their hypnotic induction. Are you ashamed of what you're doing? Why don't you tell me your name? Whoa! I don't know. Are you Can you explain to these little girls? No, I'm just trying to... Can you Please explain? Get a this they to Excuse me, ma'am. Well, there you have it. I believe I have proven conclusively a Scientologist is created by hypnotic trance induction via Dianetic auditing and training. Thanks for watching. Now here's some trance of the musical kind.